All right, so hear me out, and this is another raw reaction. Kevin Durant trade. All right, Kevin Durant, for those of you who don't know, he went over right around midnight or around that. He was traded to the Phoenix Suns. The Nets acquired four first-round picks, Mikel Bridges. They acquired Cam Johnson, and they acquired Jay Crowder. And I say I would put it in ink, in writing, whatever. The Suns will not win the NBA Finals. They will not. I understand this trade shows up as great. You get a you know superstar. I mean, Katie is you know in his mid thirties, so it's not like he's super old, but it's not like he's super young either. He's also a walking injury risk. I mean, this guy keeps getting hurt. It's constant with him. Um, Devin Booker has constantly been getting hurt as well. So now you're telling me you're going to add another injury prone guy with Chris Paul, who just got back from injury. This Suns team feels like it's all window dressing. Um, this feels like a move that is exactly why <clears throat> the, the NBA is the way it is. Everyone goes after stars. Um, I mean, not every one of those star driven teams wins the ring. The Clippers are still trying to find a way to win a ring with Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. The Nets just blew up. They had a team with Kevin Durant. They had a team with Kyrie Irving. They had a team with James Harden. Then they tried to do it with Ben Simmons. They blew it up at like not. It doesn't always work. Well, I mean, we saw Steve Nash, Kobe Bryant, and we saw Dwight Howard. That didn't work. Not every super team works, right? And so here's the thing that people seem to forget that really help you win championships because it's always about the big headlines. It's about the stars. The bottom line here is that if you trade away your glue guys, you trade away your guys that, you know, give you the hustle points. They give you the, the big, uh, you know, play where the ball's going out of bounds. They dive in the stands, they save the, the ball, or, you know, they make that big steal in crunch time, or, you know, they're shutting down guys with perimeter defense, or they're making that big block, uh, near the end of the game, chase down, what have you. When you trade those type of guys away, it makes it harder for you to win a title because guess what? You look at the Golden State Warriors, the reigning NBA champions. Look at their team. You got Steph Curry. You got Klay Thompson. You got Andrew Wiggins. You got Jordan Poole. You got Draymond Green. You got, uh, you know, all sorts of guys, right? But look at their bench. Like this year, they got DiVincenzo that can come off the bench. You know, they have guys like Mo, uh, Moody, you know, um, and, and that's the thing is like Anthony Lamb, guys like that, that can come off the bench and just you feel confident in them, even though your stars are off and they're, they're resting. You feel like you can get good minutes out of those guys. And so, you know, like Kuminga is another great example. Um but when you trade away a starter in Mikel Bridges, who he's averaging 20 a game and he's one of the best defensive players, young defensive players, you trade him away, you trade four first round picks away. I don't necessarily mind the four first round picks if you're going all in, but you want to get KD to be around, uh, you know, Paul Booker, Bridges, Aiton. You don't want to trade Bridges. Like, that's not what you want. Then you trade Jay Crowder away. Crowder's another glue guy, right? There's a reason why the Bucks offered, what, five second-round picks to go and acquire him? Bizarre, but that's the new thing. Five second-round picks will get you a decent player. Um, and then Cam Johnson, who just got back from injury, the exciting young player. Like, you trade away glue guys, and guess what? Those are the guys that end up helping you win it all. Those are the guys that bring home the title. You have your stars to close games out. But the thing that keeps you in games, it's those glue guys, it's, you know, Ray Allen was a glue guy on that Heat team when he hit that three. You think he was a star? I mean, by name, sure, but those glue guys, Rajon Rondo, before he exploded, a glue guy, right? It, you know, it, trading away Bridges is like when the Lakers traded away Kyle Kuzma, in my opinion, um, you know, for, for Russ Westbrook. I love Russ, and they just traded him away. But Kyle Kuzma and guys like that are what helped you. They're what helped you win because obviously LeBron and, and AD great, but you need a Kyle Kuzma, right? You need to rely on those guys 
you need a Sean Marion back in the day with the, the Dallas Mavericks, right? Like, that's what you need. You need Mario Chalmers on the Miami Heat. But trading away a starter, that's a glue that keeps it together. Like, Bridges, to me, makes that trade a Nets win. And I don't want to give the Nets too much credit because they failed. They had KD, like I mentioned, KD, Kyrie, they had James Harden, and they failed. They have the best defensive player maybe in all basketball right now, Nick Claxton. And now they're going to add Bridges, who's another great defensive player. They added Dinwiddie. We'll see if they buy him out or not. But you have Dinwiddie, you have Bridges, you have Claxton, you have Cam Thomas throwing 40 a night now. I don't even know what that is. I mean, very talented player, but I'm surprised 40 points. That's kind of crazy what he's doing right now. You got guys like that. Then you're bringing in, I mean, they traded Jay Crowder away, uh, but you bring in Cam Johnson. It's a, ni- a nice young nucleus of guys. And then you have Dorian uh, Finney-Smith. You know, I-, I really like what the Nets have done. They're admitting failure, but they're also staying competitive and they have a young group of guys that can help them for the foreseeable future. The Suns are going all in on something that's... I don't think they're a championship team. I just don't. When have they showed that they can win it all? They haven't. Can they beat the Warriors in a seven-game series right now? I don't know. They don't have those glue guys. That's the thing. I mean, like, I could put in Kuminga, Jonathan Kuminga, and feel good. I could put in, you know, Anthony Lamb and feel good. They just went out and got uh, Gary Payton the second. I can put him in, feel good. But the Suns, it's all star-driven now. That's a gamble. And that will come back to haunt you. And if KD gets hurt, you just traded away your future. Four first-round picks. You went all in for KD, who's been hurt this year. Paul's been hurt this year. Booker's hurt right now. I'm just saying, if this come back, if this comes back to bite them, don't be surprised. And you can go back to this video when I said you can put it in ink. The Phoenix Suns will not win the NBA Finals this year. They will not win a title. It is not happening. I think Chris Paul is going to retire before he wins a title. To be honest with you, um, I don't know if Booker will ever win one. This is probably the closest he'll get. Um, I, I mean, he might. But KD, like, I think he's fantastic when he's healthy, but you now trade away the guys that the X factors that help you in the, I mean, what happens if KD gets fouled out? Who are you going to turn to? Bridges is gone now. I mean, KD's an upgrade over Bridges, right? Because, you know, he's a better scorer and all that, but Bridges does things that KD isn't as good at. So I don't know. I'm curious what you guys think. I don't like the trade uh, for the, the Suns. I do like it for the Nats.